Welcome to today's Youth Leadership Program presentation. The presenter today is going to be Evelina and Magic, and they are going to be talking about how the Youth Leadership Program begins, how we can start doing it ourselves as Toastmasters, and what the value could be to Toastmasters and younger children that you know in your local neighborhood. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over now to Evelina for her presentation on the Youth Leadership Program. Hi all, welcome on today's webinar. I'm really, really glad that I can present this program to you and probably you came here from Facebook because of that you can see the small screen here, the, the small, um, how to say, picture of Facebook and uh, I will tell you a little bit about the Youth Leadership Program, which is the additional thing in our edu educational path in Toastmasters, which is not so well known, I think, but hopefully it will grow and we will, uh, we will le learn and uh, get better, get be know better about it. I'm Evelina Kominiak and I'm today supported by Maciej Jabłoński. We are together from Łódź Toastmaster Club, which is in Poland. And last year we start the program in Poland and it was our, uh, I see it as a big success because uh, we, we run it from the first session to, till the end with the special event, but we will tell you about it a little bit more. Maciek, would you like to say something? Well, I dare to say that this was the very first youth leadership program in Poland. Uh, from what we know, we were asking around, uh, asking people if anyone started this before. There were a few attempts, but uh, we finally did it uh, at a full scale. That was great success, in my opinion. Yes, and we we started to run the second edition now, and we are so much in it. And now we we really glad to to be here and share our knowledge and experiences with you. The small agenda for today. It's magic three for, I believe that it's magic three. We will tell you a little bit about theor theory uh, connected with youth leadership program, then practice, and then we have questions uh, at the end of the session. But if in some, in any moment you will get a question as David mentioned, you can write in the chat uh, and then we will, we will uh, look at them and maybe after the theory or uh, we will ex uh, answer them as well. Okay, theory. Firstly, everything starts in your club and with the idea. If you just already tired a little bit maybe, just attending to your regular Toastmaster club, uh, Toastmasters meetings, and you want to go outside and present your skills and start to do something more and use your already gain um, skills, uh, you, can, you can check this youth leadership program. Uh, in my case, I, I've got inspiration in Portugal when I was in 2014 and met, I met a woman, uh, Alexandra, uh, who gave me idea about youth leadership program and with that idea I came to my, my club and I was I start to talk about it and I start to talk with the people that it's such amazing and great opportunity to, to go outside of the club and do something more. And it took me one year to prepare myself and others to, to start to do it, especially that no one else uh, done it before in, uh, in Poland. Well, they, they were people who tried, but no one finished it. But I believed in this program so much that I was uh, searching and exploring and uh, looking for the people and opportunities to, to start the program. How it looked like? Uh, I, uh, we brought to our club the Youth Leadership Program uh, Coordinator Guide and Workbook for Participants. This is the, those are manuals that you can buy in shop on Toastmasters.org website and they explain everything about the program. 
this was the very important point to firstly read it and understand what it's all about. The idea of leadership is to is that it's gonna be a workshop that enable participants to, to develop communication and leadership skills through practical experience and this is a very important point. What more Toastmasters org uh, will tell you on the website that participants learn to evaluate present speaking ability, organize and give speeches, give impromptu talks, control voice, vocabulary and gestures, and give constructive feedback. But it's just the few points. It's a little, a little, a lot, a lot of more um, things that they can learn and gain while taking part in this program. What is very important to mention here that youth leadership program it's not a gavel club. Youth leadership program is kind of a project that it take it has the beginning and has the end. And I will explain you a little bit later how it looks like in the practice, but I don't know if you heard about gavel clubs. Those are mostly, they look like regular clubs, Toastmaster clubs, but for teenagers. Youth leadership program, it's, it's just eight session, uh, sessions and it's a project. It uh, has a coordinator and it starts and has, have the, ha, has the end. Gavel clubs, if they start, they can run, they can uh, work and work and work. Youth leadership, no, it's, it's just a project. What, what when you get the idea, what when you get the people to run the project and you want to be a coordinator of this project, you've already read the manuals and you are ready and sure that you want to go, um, very often we don't know what to do next. And my, my idea, my, my suggestion is it's just to do the real steps. Uh, and go to look for the organizations and uh, surroundings that maybe there is a society that they want to take part in this project. You can go to the school, you can go to the associations and engage club members in spreading the idea as well. Because when you start to talk about it and you will tell that, okay, I'm ready to do the program and maybe you know someone or um, you, you've heard about an organization who want to do additional things, it's very good to talk about it. In our case, it was that I did it. I, I was talking to all or m all my members that I, I, I dream about it. I, I just want to do the youth leadership program in our club. And that was like, um, I don't know how to, how to say it, but just one guy came to me and said and asked me, oh, really, Evelina, you've told me about the youth leadership program. I know the organization who want to have this additional workshop in uh, for their children, and I've uh, and I've decided to go to that organization. I've talked with the manager, and we've started. We've started in the how to say core, uh, chor, uh, core? Um, children's core of Wuch. Core, yes, children's core of Wuch. Um and that's that's it. You need to just take the real steps and go and tell about the, the project. Present the idea, present the, the, what the children can gain and what you can give to that organization during this, that project. Agree with the parents as well, present to the parents the, the, the youth leadership program because you need to get the permission, for example, if you want to take photos during the, the project, uh, you need to get the permission uh, of that they allow to take photos of their children. 
Um, Toastmasters also provide information brochures if you wish to uh, provide such material to, to parents, to the group that uh, you're trying to start your project in. Uh, though I think it's really important to talk to them and uh, if they have any questions, answer them promptly because, well, they are parents, they are worried for their kids. But what is important, I think that you need to get the involvement of children and they, it's very good that they will decide if they want to take part in such a program or not because it's not about running a project just to run the pro just to run a project but to have a group of people who really want to do something more something additional um, not just the regular classes at school if you already have the organization if you have already group what is important and it, it the, the program requires that you will have uh, to run eight meetings and they are uh, they are divided and I will talk about I will tell about it the dura duration of the project uh, they record the, the, the manual recommends that it's gonna be one two hours but it's up to you as well it depends on you if you would like to have longer session and the children will be uh, in they they have will why not it's it's just to have a contract and an agreement of all the members of the project and the maximum of the participants that manuals allows it's 25 but from our perspective the good the good number of members it's like 12 to 15 because it's um, I think that it's op uh, it, it looks more balanced when you have like 15 people because uh, we need to re remember that uh, youth leadership also involves speeches given by children. If we want to give them chance to speak and chance to develop further or uh, compare their skills from the beginning of the project and the end of the project, we need to allow them, allow them all to speak equally and give them balance in the group. So having a bit smaller group gives them more chances to speak. Yeah, 25, it's quite a lot, and you need to still take care of them, so um, it's a big challenge from my side. Uh, actually, from in the first project we had 20, but it was really great and organized group. And now we work with just eight children, uh, youngsters, they are 14, 14 years old, but uh, this 12, 15, it's from my side the best option and what is important they need to be under 18 years old uh, the recommendation is uh, 15 18 but uh, we 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 had project where the the, the youngest children uh, was eight and i know that in portugal are projects for year eight years old children as well okay so we have these eight meetings and The manual will give you kind of um, the manual give you kind of um, framework. We have sessions, and each session has the specific uh, topic, like introduction to cha chairmanship, introdu introduction to public speaking, impromptu speaking, organizing your speech, listening, gestures in speaking, voice and vocabulary, show your skills. They are eight sessions and they are very, very well um, described in manual, but still it's very good to have the knowledge from your edu educational path in Toastmasters. You can implement what you know already, what you gained in your Toastmaster club, your experiences. And this is just the... Um, the idea you can use it but still you are it's not um, how to say it's not uh, um, obligatory to to use everything which is in the manual you can still and i will tell about it later in the, into the practice uh, part that you can you need to check the needs of the members of the project this is this eight session eight sessions 
are uh, to prepare children, to prepare youngsters for this for the special event, which is at the end of the project. And it's very good idea that they will work on this special event. They will be responsible. They will they will create the special event how they want to present the results of the youth leadership program. So eight sessions. We work on our skills, abilities, our public speaking and leadership. I, I'm saying we work because still I feel that coordinators and people who are who who run this project, the the Toastmasters, they learn as well a lot from children. We really really learn a lot. Yep. <laughs> this special event. Um, we we have very very nice uh, we i have very nice uh, memories from special event from our first project because it was organized parents came we gave them the official uh, certificates of participating in, the, in this project and they were really really proud and and very very happy I showed here money because it's really interesting topic as well. Uh, that youth leadership program, it's for free. Children don't pay anything for this program. Parents don't pay anything. What it's, uh, if we need an, um, any money, we need to ask our club to support us, to be a sponsor, or we can ask the, the other clubs around that to, to help us and support us. Support us. Well, the club has to be the main sponsor. Very often happens that, for example, right now we have the support from school if we need any materials or when we want to print something or we can establish that in the, such cases school will help us with that. But first of all, club is a sponsor and gives the money for that project. If we want, for example, order the handbooks to run to, to give the children from uh, Toastmaster Org from the shop, we need to do it by, by ourselves from the club site. Hmm? Would you like to yeah, that's it. Uh, we can also um, search for additional sponsors, though uh, we still manual still says that club uh, from which the coordinator or originates should be the main sport sponsor for uh, for the program. So it's up to the club. It can be organized as a cooperation of several several clubs, but it's still one club that's the main sponsor. That's that's what Manuel says, and well, that's what it is. Yes. Okay. I think that it's uh, everything about this theory, theor theoretical part. Till now, do you have any questions? I think that it would be good to to check. Yeah, we just had a question pop in. So it was from Alexandra, and her question was, is there a minimum age for the YLP? Uh, no, the manual doesn't say anything about the minimum age. They just recommend that it could be for that it's good that the project is for uh, 15 years old, 18 years old. But as I mentioned, the younger participant of our first project, uh, he was eight years old, and he did very well. He did it very well. He did a very good job. Yep, that's the only question we had. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's let's go to the practice part and the most interesting and fascinating. The manual uh, we already mentioned about it. This is not presentation. This is not just going to the class and present talking about public speaking and uh, about leadership. It's workshop. We need to take our skills and work with them and work with the children and and do and do work uh, do exercises just give them the space to give the speeches to practice their leadership skills 
Isn't that exactly what we do in our clubs? We exactly. come to the meetings just to practice, not to read manuals or listen to the lectures. Yes, and we did it. We, we did it because the main thing from our side is learning by doing. From that part we, we learn the most. But what is very, very important during the whole project and each session when you work with children, you need to be aware with whom you work, what you want to achieve, what you want to give them, be aware of the whole situation, what is going on among, among them. You need to know them. First of all, what we, we do during the, the, the when project starts, we create we create um, the contract. We agree, everyone agree, what the rules, uh, what, will, what are the rules will be for this eight session, how we gonna work and how we gonna com communicate and what is really important for us. Watch, listen and cooperate. There are three very important points as well because very often children don't say anything but we can see that something in something is wrong they they really, very often they stress and if we give them the the for example support we go to talk with them uh, later on after the meeting we ask about their fears they really open and then they they want to share not often but it's very good to take this step listen listen carefully because we need to be uh, aware of their needs. Not, from my side, it's not the most important thing to put in practice the manual of leadership, youth leadership program, but just to be for these children and give them the, the space and uh, give them the fun to show that public speaking is something really, really great and we all know about it, right? <laughs> and that, they, that it's nothing bad, nothing, uh, nothing wrong if they stressed they can control it and cooperate it's a very good it's it's really good point as well we need to uh, give them the possibility to take decisions to make decisions to um, to be as to be a, as a partners not not as a regular teachers because we can see now during this project that very often they they treat us as the teachers but we show them that we are work with the, in this project together. Yeah, exactly. And the part, the best part in it uh, is that if you're afraid of starting a project with children, uh, which for me was uh, really scary at first, uh, you don't have to do it alone. Even if you want to start your own project, you can organize your team because the main role in the project is not a boss of everything and one men army but uh, it's coordinator so it involves people it involves cooperation you can have as many as you want to help you with such project exactly what is important more it's do it by your heart if you really passionate about developing yourself and others, and I see that in Toastmasters it's really, really common value, it will be easy for you to go and work with children and share your knowledge and uh, work with your all desire and heart. Do it with happiness, with joy, make it funny, make it, make it creative, make it uh, really as a as a play, as a game, as a something that they really want to join and the children will be engaged in it. Engaged in, it. Uh, in the beginning it takes a little bit of time because very often they don't trust, they don't, don't trust and they don't know who we are and why we are there but for example after the third session we see that the engagement of children is even even higher. But it's not just giving everything for children. It's very important to ask yourself why you want to do this project and what does it give to you as the coordinator. I 
I put it here just icons because very often for everyone it means something else. For me, for example, it was just to give the, the tools to children to show them the, the idea of public speaking, about the structure, about the, how to control the stress and so on. To organize your life, like my life, I needed to organize my time because I work regularly from 8 till 4 p.m. So to organize my life and still find time for them and to prepare myself for each session because 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 each each session um, it's prepared after the uh, after the session I will I I'm preparing with magic the next session. Uh, what gives more a lot of ideas because as I mentioned as well we can learn a lot from children they have so a lot of ideas they have so uh, how to say a lot of um, um, creative uh, thoughts that sometimes I feel lo I feel lost, but then I ask them and they explaining me and it's kind of exercise as well because they need to communicate what they wanted to, to tell me. This is as well the possibility to implement and still practice your public speaking skills because you are presenter in front of the children as well. But uh, you can explore the educational system. For me, it's really, really important part of this uh, that I see how this I see this lack of communication skills. Uh, the children they don't learn this at school, so we can be as a support for the schools and uh, give the, this idea that it's really, really important to to start work on these skills since very young years, very, very, um, from the youngsters, so I don't know how to, okay, and uh, what it, what gives me a lot of happiness and very, I, I enjoy each session and I'm proud of the children and that's, that's this powerful thing that gives me energy to, to just go and do more and more in my real, regular life as well. Maciek, what it, what it gave it to you? Um, gives. What shocks me day to day when speaking to any children, among all of the languages in the world, probably this is the hardest I learned. Children is really hard to speak, but if you try, if you try honestly and you try to speak with children, they will tell you a lot, and it's a lot of really smart things. So it's really valuable skill to speak children. Yes, but you need to be aware still that it takes it takes minimum ten, two months because we I will I would recommend you to have one session per per week. So it it's minimum two months plus special events. Sometimes uh, we need to skip the 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 meeting, so it can be even three months. So you need to be aware and sure that you really want to do this, but still I recommend you. It's, it's worth it. And this practice, this is our practice. This, that was our first meeting and our happiness and our children and our workshop. All of those that you see on the, on the screen, they gave speeches. They've got evaluation, they evaluate each other, they were working of the timekeeping and timekeeping, fluencing their speaking. That was our joy. If you want to check our website, you, you can go to Youth Leadership Program in Łódź and then you can check and see uh, each session from the first project and now we started to post the, the second project and we are running that. Now we wanted to involve the, the, our, firstly we were posting and running the, the fan page but now we are thinking to involve our members and 
give them the possibility to as well practice their skills in publishing posts and writing the what they want to say about the project. Okay, I think that it's all from our side. Do you have any question? Yes, we do. I have to turn my microphone up. <laughs> so we have one question from Angela. So what is the best approach for the first interaction about public speaking with the youngsters? So what is the best approach for the first interaction about public speaking with the youngsters? Um, if I understand the question correctly, the best approach is to become part of the group and show them that uh, as a part of this group you can speak you can speak up and let them speak up as soon as possible so the first meeting will probably be for knowing each other better for knowing for getting to know the names uh, to to form the group to agree on some rules and after that just let them speak because they will have something to tell about uh, they have their passions, they, they have their own topics to talk about. So, in my opinion, at first, become part of the group. Yep. And the second, let them speak as soon as possible. Yep. And yes, and about asking the first topic of impromptus. Of impromptus? Yeah, like the first topic. What was the best approach for the first interaction about the first topic? Uh, Oh, we did it by uh, by the game. We just uh, we we didn't gave them the table topic and say, okay, tell us something about uh, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't gave them the table topic. Firstly, we've started with the with the game that we were playing with words. We were taking the cards and describing the cards and so on and so on. And then we gave them the table topic. Uh, to just give them this one to two, one to two minutes to express themselves in such a topic. But firstly, we've started with the game, with the small steps. I think that this is idea as well, to start very slowly and with the small steps. And then they see that they are, and listen, don't stop them, just listen and they see that they are accepted, their ideas are accepted, it's okay and then they they speak more and more and more and uh, as far as i remember one of the meetings from previous projects uh, was actually one of the table topic sessions was driven by kids themselves because yeah. they we asked them about the topics that that they would like to talk about and we let them draw from those topics one they they were supposed to talk about in in table topics so that's one of the approaches. They want to talk about it, so let them talk about it. Yeah, and give them the, the space to create the, the project. It's the best idea as well, to, be, uh, to give them the possibility to, uh, to offer ideas how they want that the sessions look, uh, will look like. And uh, they, step by step, they are more and more engaged. And I, we noticed that the younger uh, younger children they are really really passionate and they want to do everything as the first ones but now in the in the high school when we are in the secondary school we see that they are more distant and uh, that we need to work firstly more to open them and open their minds and that they that they can feel safe in our space and during our session and now i see that it's getting better very good so then I have a double question from Esther uh, she came a little bit late so this question is being asked a second time but it's really important she want to know is was there an age group or any limitations and then the follow-up question for that was uh, did you translate it to Polish or did the kids speak English to read and speak Um, if it comes to age, uh, the manual gives recommendation of uh, 15 to 18, but in fact we had a group that was a bit wider than that. 
and uh, it all depends on the group. Uh, if we stick to 15 to 18, it's pretty limited in, in terms of reaching schools, reaching children, and I think that uh, all, all of the activities in the program depend on the group. If we find a group that's uh, a bit younger than the recommended one, we can tune the, the program, we can tune exercises and uh, the way we conduct our meetings to meet their expectations, to meet their their age and their way of, uh, I don't know, their way of learning. Yeah, but uh, I think that very good, very good inspiration comes from Portugal, where, where I was and from where I took the inspiration there. Alexandra, who is, who is running the project, she started in her daughter's classroom and her daughter was eight that year and now I've talked yes with Alexandra yesterday and she told me that now more than 200 children already took part in youth leadership program which it's for me amazing amazing more and more Toastmasters are involved in running projects they are so passionate they run it in Portuguese and English and they go and go it's it's such amazing for me we just started in Poland but I believe that it will it will spread and it will be more and more um, known because I see that no not so many Toastmasters even heard about the youth leadership program so your task after that webinar is go to your Toastmaster club and tell about youth leadership program and find someone with whom you can start the the project in your in your country in your in your club yes yes I agree with you <laughs> uh, the second question you asked was about the language yes uh, well, in fact the year that uh, was taken before starting the first project was to get to know the program better and tune it to our Polish reality uh, because we know that uh, the manuals come from the US and in fact uh, some of some of things are not easily translatable, so we need to tune it for children. We we need to tune to our reality. We were uh, we were using the manuals to learn at first, and then to convey the message to to the group because it's a bit different here than in the U.S. Exactly. We work with coordinator uh, handbook and with work workbook for participants, but mostly they. Uh, I remember first reaction when we wanted to, uh, when we tell them about handbooks and they said, no, handbooks, no, come on, it's school one more time. But then we realized that the most important is to read the book by ourselves and put into practice everything which is said by uh, drawing, by writing, by giving them the possibility to fight by themselves the, the things uh, that they already know about public speaking and sometimes just add the additional information and it's really really great work because we are all involved in this using handbooks if the even if we don't have them in the in hands but still it's very good to to uh, order the handbooks from Toastmasters org and have them in front of you and read them carefully just to be aware what you want to present during the your sessions Perfect. And then I have a question. Should there be a teacher present in the group too? And that's from Alexandra. The teacher. Well, in first in first project in our case, uh, there was no teacher because it was the organization. So there was no teacher, there was no parents, there was no manager on anyone. We were alone. Uh, just we Toastmasters, we were inviting for each session because uh, I was a coordinator, Maciek was supporting me and we were inviting as well other Toastmasters, for example, additionally for uh, specific sessions, they were evaluating children or giving the ideas and so on. So we were like giving them other, uh, we, we were inviting other people to to, to give the possibility to or to the, for Toastmasters to to get to know how the product program looks like and for the children to have someone the guest and 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 so on now we we talked with uh, teachers but they they didn't attend till now they've not attended but uh, but it's I think better 
because children feel more comfortable that the, the teachers trusted us and uh, we prefer that teachers are not but still it can be just it's it's just cooperation be between you and teacher and children it can be why not it's it's up to you and from my side from my point of view well, if you need such support uh, it doesn't have to be the teacher from the school not to um, let's say have influence on the trust between uh, in this relationship between uh, students and uh, and us uh, if we if we invite some people from the outside that are not involved in educational program, reg regular educational program in the school, and they know that this won't, uh, this won't have in any influence on their grades, on their scores at school, um, I think they feel more comfortable. So if you wish to have someone with experience with children, it may be a bit better to invite someone from the outside, from your club. I bet there's someone around in your club or in neighboring clubs who can attend such meeting or help you with that. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. And then the next question is from Nil. In Poland, did you do the whole thing in English or in Polish? I think you partly answered that already, but I think this is very specific. Yes, we did it in Polish first program we did it in Polish now we're running in Polish but sometimes we uh, we um, give them for example we use TEDx speeches or to check the technique or to check the content or, or to evaluate the speaker who is speaking to us uh, so we use TEDx and sometimes we just uh, listen to the speakers in like the, the presenters in uh, English so children, in somehow they are practicing English in that moment, but the whole sessions and children give the uh, speeches in Polish. I know that in Portugal they give the, uh, the 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 project they run projects both Portuguese and English, and maybe one day we will run such a project in English as well. <laughs> we will see. Okay, and then I have a question from Angela. Where is the leadership part? Yes, that's a really good question. Manual gives the, the sessions where you can choose the board and you can cho choose that the children choose the president and uh, there is a director of, uh, no, uh, Sergeant, at Sergeant at Arms. Secretary and uh, there are four people chosen for that. But what we what we uh, what we learned from the first project, we wanted to put it into project, and we were trying to uh, give children this leadership part to choose among them the president and the whole board, and they did it. But uh, from my perspective, it's a very short time for this leadership part to real to this real real part to to choose the board. Now we work more with the um, giving them leadership activities or giving them the exercises that they need to work together, and we observe them and then discuss what they think, who was the leader in that such situation. Or we give them the special exercises, like now we we invite, like we ask them to uh, to find out to find for us the the room where we will run the next session, and they we we more put them uh, we more put this leadership into practice. So the first the first project it was to uh, more theoret theoretical now we learned and we work with these children to give them the real exercises to 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 get to give them the possibility to improve their their leadership skills mm -hmm. because let's face it uh, if we choose a president vice president secretary surgeon at arms for four weeks it's very short time we choose our club presidents and club board for half a year and in my opinion it's very short time to learn all the skills related to leadership uh, just choosing to 
electing someone for president doesn't mean that he will find out something in four weeks. Uh, learning by doing. I'll go back to that again. Uh, so giving them some tasks that uh, require them to organize to, I don't know, pick a leader among themselves, this is the best way to show them, show them in practice how this works. Very good. And then another question from Angela. Is the final event a contest? It's up to children. We we encourage we uh, encourage them to pre to prepare this special event, uh, and we did it with the first project. Now uh, and we helped a lot, and mostly we as well organized with uh, manager and parents this event, and. Uh, now we want to ask children to to think about the special event and to work on the special event and they are they can decide what they want to do and how the the special event should look like this is as well learning by doing and giving i i realize that children they are very afraid to um to decide to give their ideas to to, to to believe that they can decide and in that prog program they learn and they learn that they can create something that they they are owners of this project as as well so yes this special event can have uh, contest it depends on the children how they how they want that they will look like very good. Uh, if you get back to the schedule of uh, youth leadership program, the last meeting uh, is called Show Your Skills. And this meeting is actually dedicated to planning such an event. Uh, we can obviously mention it a bit earlier that, uh, yeah. that the program will, will come to the final event that will be a bit uh, more uh, pompous than the regular event. But uh, in fact, it's up to children. And the last meeting is, of course, for planning such such events. That's that's the that's what Manuel says. That's what the framework and um, suggestion says that we should spend the last uh, the last meeting, the eighth uh, session, for planning such events. And it's really up to the group. Very good. And then I have a question: uh, Did the children get anything for participating or graduating the project? Yes, a lot of happiness, a lot of uh, practice. <laughs> no, but uh, um, the, we uh, there is possible to order uh, certificates uh, that they they were attending to that project. Uh, we organize, uh, we we gave them small statues like and awards as well for all of them. Uh, because it was our first project, so we we prepared small small special um, award for all of them. Uh, but the official one is certificate of being a participant of youth, youth leadership program. But as well, it's up to you and up to your club and how much money do you have and if you want to prepare something for them, some award or it it as well. It's up to you. Okay, and then I have a question from Angela that I don't quite understand. She might have to type it again, but it says, what else can be? Uh, I think it relates to the final event, to the special event. Yeah, maybe, possibly, yes. Uh, because it appeared when we were talking about that. Exactly. Uh, whatever you'd like to have it. Uh, it may be showing off the skills. Uh, well, showing off is not the best way to... Uh, it may be a session or it may be a presentation of what children did learn over the eight sessions of youth leadership, like, for example, giving their speeches in front of their parents, uh, in front of invited guests, uh, showing what they've learned, showing that they can give impromptu speeches, showing whatever they would like to show that they learned that. Or just, for example, just be together and be happy of our success. We, for example, of the after first project, we gave them the certificate, and we ate big pizza together with their parents, and we uh, 
uh, we were talking about what happened and about our experiences. We uh, that, that's all. That was the uh, that was our um, how to say not party but uh, celebration celebration of the success. Yeah. <laughs> And that was the last question, guys. Would you like oh, to have so any closing remarks or? Closing <laughs> remarks. I, I see that we are just nine attend attendees. Uh, so, uh, so me and David uh, minus m minus me and David. So it's seven. <laughs> but still, I believe that the seven people can go to to each club and uh, your clubs and. Uh, tell about youth leadership program and maybe inspire someone, maybe you are inspired uh, to start. Um, I didn't mention about it, but it's very maybe may good to tell about it that uh, youth leadership can be uh, realized at high performance leadership. I didn't do it by myself, uh, but it can be high performance leadership. So if you uh, find out others who will help you to run this project and you will establish all those steps. I'm not so good in this project, hyper performance leadership, but I asked and it's really possible to do it. So if you if you already advanced those master and you you want to do it, I recommend as well. Uh, and uh, aside from that, uh, if you're thinking about advanced communicator gold, uh, one of the one of the requirements is giving a presentation in one of the success workbooks or youth leadership so being a part of youth leadership also gives you a credit towards uh, advanced communicator gold what's more uh, if you ever heard about pathways that are coming our way big steps uh, you probably know that youth leadership program is also one of the alternatives uh, for the distinguished Toastmasters. I see that someone is running the second meeting this Saturday, so wish you luck with the project. I'm really, really happy. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and looks like Esther's already fired up. She's sending emails off already to hungry area directors. Uh, we got oh. <laughs> uh, Angela. She's already been speaking to some uh, teachers as well. She's you know, getting there. Uh, Esther was yeah. also on about Definitely. young children. So it looks like we've got definitely some momentum building. And even though there wasn't so many people on the, the webinar tonight, it is recorded. And so many people have still got their Toastmasters meeting tonight, so that's why they couldn't attend. I would like to say thank you guys for giving the presentation this evening. It's been definitely wonderful, you know, very specific information that you've given everybody. I really do appreciate the effort you've put into this presentation, and it's very important information. It came across very well. And I look forward to having you potentially on again for a follow-up meeting in the near future. So if there's any other questions, I can put those now. Otherwise, I will stop the recording. So I will stop the recording now.